Well, let's take a little peek at De Morgan's theorems. Well, one very important theorem is this. If you have x, or y, or z, and you, not the whole thing, whole output, that's going to be equal to x naught ended with y naught ended with z naught. How do they figure this? First thing that you do is you look at this device and you draw it. So let's draw a, a gate. That's an OR gate. Let me draw an OR gate. Let me change the properties so that it's now a NOR gate. Because that's what we're looking at here. This is X or Y or Z and the output is knotted. And that is a NOR gate. Now, one other thing about this, I have two inputs here. Let's see if we can make three inputs out of this. There we go. And I'll also put an LED here. And one, two, three switches. And let's see what we can do. One, two, and three. And let's wire these guys up. A bing, a bang, a bang, and connect it to the output, like so. All right, so now we've got our NOR circuit with X, Y, and Z as inputs. According to De Morgan's theorem, first thing I have to do is I have to find out where the operators are. There's one. And there's the other. So this is where I make my points of separation. Here and here. Because I have a, a NOR gate again. The NOR gate output is knotting the OR of these three inputs. Which is to say, this here represents the knot at the end of the OR gate. Okay, so let's make the break. I take this X and I break them right there. Right where that sign is. And then the next guy, the Y, I'm going to make the break there and here. So now, there's my Y. And then the next break comes at the point right after that sign, the Z. The next thing that I do, I take these guys and I convert them. The positive now, because that was step one, what we just did. Now let's go to step two, is I take both of these fellas, these OR signs, and I change them into their opposite, which is AND. Like so. And we have now finished our job. Which is to say, we just converted that into this. This is exactly what we stated at the outset that we were going to do. That was X or Y or Z not. And we split this X here, and the Y here, and the Z here, where the operators are. We converted them, like so, to individually knotted elements. And then we change the ORs to ANDs. And it works. So, let's see how well it works. Let's find out how true that is. Let's get our multimedia logic up here. And... Let me make this a bit smaller now. Let me move all of this over to the left. I'm going to put one, two, three inputs. I'm also going to put a end gate here. And at the beginning of the end gate, I'm going to put some knots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
to try. Okay. And let's see now. I'm going to make this guy here. One, two, and three. I'm going to put him through the nut gate, and this guy through a nut gate, and this guy through a nut gate, and I'm going to funnel all of that into the end gate, because that's exactly what we're saying here. We're going to take X and not it, Y and not it, Z, not it, and then we're going to end all these guys together, which is exactly what we're doing here. So, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And, oops, my end gate is not ready for the challenge yet. Let's change him, my end gate, into a three input end gate. There we go. Put a bing, put a bang, put a boom, one more. And I'm going to put an LED there and connect these up. Now, if we're right, then we should be getting identical outputs for these guys. And I want to be able to see everything at the same time. So about the same spot there. Uh, something like that. So according to what we wrote down here, if you take the X, or with Y, or with Z, and not the output, and here we have X, Y, and Z, or together, and then knotted, that's going to be equal to knotting all the inputs and then ending them together. Knotting all the inputs. So let's find out. Here we go. Uh, let's run it. All of them are off. Identical outputs. Let's change the switches to run horizontal, not vertical. So we've got to wind up like this. Now let's see what happens. This is one. Off. This is two, they're off. This is three, both are off. Now let's go to four. Here's four, they're both off. Let's go to five. They're all both off. Let's shut that off and go to six. They're both off. Let's go to seven. They're both off. They are identical. I have a course on electronics. It's called Electronics Master Digital Logic Gates for Beginners. It's $100 normally, but there's a big discount going on right now, and you can get it for $10. That's a pretty good bargain, I think. And the name of the location is Udemy.com. So if you go there, you can get this for a very low price. It's quite useful. And if you have any questions, you can... Ask me right there on that site, and I'll answer it. Well, I wish you a lot of luck. I hope this was uh, helpful to you. This is Gary D. Bye-bye now.